Hi, this is Colt with Collaborize Classroom, and if you've already completed the Launch Wizard and published your Collaborize Classroom site, but you haven't posted your first topic or invited your students, this video is for you. Here's a site that I just launched that doesn't have any topics or student members, and I'm going to show you in just a few minutes how easy it is to post your first topic and add members to your site so that you can be on your way to transforming your class into a thriving learning community like this one. Collaborize Classroom has four different topic types that you can use to create a variety of discussions and inter interactions for your students. The uh, yes-no topic is formatted like a debate. Students come in, read your question, and then click the yes or no button, and then support their answer by posting either a pro or con argument with the comment field. The multiple choice topic allows you to um, post a question with several possible answers that students can choose from by voting and then support their answer by posting their reasoning again with the comment box. The vote or suggest topic is a bit like multiple choice, uh, uh, but instead of only being able to vote on existing answers, the students can add answers of their own for other students to vote on. So for the example that we're going to use to start off our new site, we're going to have a multiple choice question. We're going to use the Time Machine Icebreaker, which is one of the um, great ways to get started with Collaborize Classroom is to sort of set it up with an icebreaker. Your students can get familiar with interacting in the environment. So now I'm going to add my description. I've actually got it already here. Just going to paste it in. If you could travel to any era in human history, where would you go? Vote for your choice and then write three to five sentences explaining why. So now I need to provide some choices. And again, for speed, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste these in. There's ancient Rome. We're going to go for... 1950s USA, you can pick anything that you want. I'm just, these are just off the top here for me. Go for the Renaissance. I need to add another choice. There's the Renaissance right there. And then the future, that would be an interesting place to check out as well. So you can make as many choices as you want, just keep adding a choice. And if you wanna allow them to pick more than one out of the set of four or five or how many you do, you just click right here. And then you choose um, which class you want to post it to, pick any one of these, or if you want to post it to multiple classes, just pick right here and choose all the classes that you want to post it to. If you want to set an end date for the topic, just pick one right here. I'm going to send this for next Tuesday. Uh, and if you want to attach an image, which I do because I just so happen to have an image of a time machine on my desktop right there. And then all you do is click preview so you can see what your question will look like when students come in to have a look at it. Ah, here it is. Here's my title, Time Machine. If you could travel to any area in human history, where would you go? So there's my description, posted by Mr. Briner, the moderator to Class 1 Discussions. Okay, and it ends on 2.15, so that's pretty clear. Here's the choices. Perfect. That looks exactly the way I want it to, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And then we have our topic posted to our portal. So that's as easy as it is for posting a topic to your portal. So now you have something for students to engage in when they arrive, but how do you get them here? The easiest way to get students to your Collaborize Classroom portal is simply to provide them with the URL. Now, when you went through the setup wizard, you chose a URL for your site, but in case you forgot it, I'll show you a really easy way to get it back. You go to the Manage menu and then click Manage This Site, and it will take you to the General Management area, and right there is your site URL, mydemo.democrosoft.com. Hopefully you have a more creative name than that. So what would it look like? Your students will enter that address in their, in their uh, browser address bar, and they will be right here. It will say log in or register. Now, assuming they haven't already logged in, this is their homework. They go home, they enter the URL, they click register now, and they're gonna just enter their information. They have, to, they have to choose a screen name, give you their first name, last name, and they create their own unique password uh, so that only they can access their own uh, you know, profile or account, and then they'll be, waiting for you to approve them, which happens on your end, you will have a list of students pending approval in your Manage Members section. And once you approve any student who's requesting access, they will be in and able to interact on the first topic that you've posted. In this case, that was my icebreaker topic. And then you can really start to see how students engage and interact with each other and appreciate the opportunity to um, have sort of this social type of interaction be the way that they're getting their homework done. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us. If you can write at the bottom of your portal, you can see the contact us link. It's always easy to reach us. We're here to help you. We've got a lot of folks on staff to answer your questions. If you want to send us an email or just give us a phone call. 
Thanks for watching. Have fun with your Collaborize Classroom.